That's right. The 10 greatest stand-up comedians ever. But we're using some Bat Snacks metrics. See, it's not always just their stand-up act itself. It's their body of work. Yeah, so you could be good for a few years. Some people are brilliant for 10, but... It counts when you're consistently funny over decades and decades and decades. That's your body of work, and the bigger and better it is, the greater you are. Now, we also have quality of work. We can't just be rewarding people for putting out mediocrity. How about variety of work? Yeah, I do count that, because we live in a world of podcasts, television, chat show appearances. Uh, We've got TV, we've got reality shows. So I think that does count into their into their work, into their greatness. You know, I also have the metric of, are they an asshole or not? You know, so that can factor into this too. Rich Boss, Rich Boss number, 10. number 10. If you think that's bullshit, you're wrong. You're bullshit. Because Rich Boss is one of the greatest comedians in the world. And he's been doing this since he was like a... Actually, you gotta just watch this video clip. Yeah, so brace yourself. But seriously, this is a real video, and that really is like a super tall, skinny Steve Harvey and like a little Adam Sandler guy that's named uh, Richard Voss. And this, it's a real thing. Give it up from Philadelphia for Richard Voss. <laughs> Paolo, how we doing? How we doing? All right. Talking about my sister, my sister used to go out with a black guy. I go, what's up with that? She goes, once you go black, you never go back. I go, that's because our family won't let you in. (laughs) That's what I'm talking about. (laughs) Anyway. Richard Voss has done it all. You see, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Who did that in the 1980s, right? 1990s, Voss was still cooking. 2000s, the aughts. He was just ripping it up on uh, morning radio. 2010s, Rich Voss, Bonnie McFarlane. Yeah, by the way, he married Bonnie McFarlane, so. Hi. Who are you? I'm his wife. This is a ball and chain. Oof, come on, seriously, who is that? Uh, but as seriously, the podcast is really something worth listening to. So that's it. Voss has done it all. And he's still going strong. They're still doing restaurants in the Chuckle Hut. He just keeps getting better and better. He's just adding more to his body of work. And Voss is constantly funny. By the way, this is how good he is. People mistakenly think that his dumb guy character is real. That he really is dumb. But he's not. Rich Voss, I'll tell you, he's smarter than you think. I think this clip is a great example. You're going to think that you're watching some dumb thing, like a dumb guy talking about dumb stuff on stage. But there's more going on than you think. I was doing a club a couple weeks ago, and on Thursday night is their new talent night. So I had to go up at the end of the show after like an hour and a half of horribleness, and, <laughs> and, I, and I had to headline the show. So I'm talking to this guy in the audience, I go, what do you do? And he said, I was on stage earlier. I was up there earlier doing comedy. I go, really, you're gonna be a comic? I go, how old are you? He said, I'm 53. I go, you're starting comedy at 53? He said, no, it's on my bucket list. This is his bucket list. This is my life. His bucket list. I've always wanted to fly a plane but I've never walked into the cockpit and said, hey, can I take it around the block a couple of times? <laughs> right? So I, I got a little pissed off, so I started trashing him. Not that bad, but really bad. <laughs> I'm like trashing this guy. And then, I, then out of nowhere, he says, well, I don't have health insurance, and I have a brain tumor. Yeah, he used the old fucking brain tumor card. (laughs) So now the audience hates me because I just trashed this guy for 10 fucking minutes, right? And I'm like, how am I going to get the crowd back? I'm like, 
this is, it was so early in the show, I'm going, they hate, like, right now how you're staring at me waiting for the punchline, <laughs> pretend there's all hatred in your eyes. <laughs> they hated me. So out of nowhere, some guy in the audience raises his hand and yells over to that guy and says, look, I don't care if you have health insurance, come to my office this week, we'll take some x-rays and we'll see what we can do. I was like, oh, thank God, right? So I, I look over at the guy, I go, are you a brain surgeon? He said, no, I'm an orthopedic, but brain surgery's on my bucket list. <laughs> so, <laughs> it, it, it worked out. You just got owned by Rich Voss. And Voss is proof that people can get better as they get older. Guy's in his 60s. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Now he's getting tattoos and wearing those hats that I want to punch off his head, but now you might be watching this on YouTube, so I suggest you take a look at uh, Rich Voss and the Opie and Anthony archives. Uh, you also have Tough Crowd, old episodes of Tough Crowd. Rich Voss. Type those things into your uh, little search bar. And anyway, I don't need to spend a lot of time uh, trying to justify this to you dummies. Rich Voss is the 10th greatest comedian in the world, so shut it. Take it in, absorb it, then come back when you realize, oh shit, you were right about this. Voss is fucking brilliant. And brilliant or not, again, body of work, quality of work, diversity of work. Rich Voss, number 10, best in the world.